Hello, I am back. And uh, hey, Iski the Cheapo Gamer here. Well, anyway, um, I am back, and uh, today I'm going to be playing the visual novel Ghostwire Prelude, um, which is a free to play thing on Steam. Um, and then that is going to lead up to my playthrough of uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, I got to know about it during that, um, what's it again, Re EA reveal day or something like that. And I uh, was super excited for that. But then when uh, Gab Smolders um, showed it on her channel, I was like, okay, I'm not going to wait for it to uh, be, you know, available on discount. I got to have it now. Um, and for 179 ringgit, it's a great deal. Um, so yeah, I, I, I bought it and uh, I saw this and I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, um, show you guys the prelude first and what happened um, before the actual happening. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Let's go. Iski's back. Okay. It is time for us to ghost wire. As I this is this is like a little bit of a prelude to the actual Ghostwire Tokyo that I'm going to be recording, and uh, yeah, but this is like a kind of scrolly text. Um, kind of game um, but it would be nice to know what happened before and then play the game um, whereas uh, Gab or Evelyn Smolders actually did uh, only the ghost wire thing but yeah let's go um, let's go for a new game uh, Inko. Kso. Kso. <laughs> it's not fully voice acted though Erika. Oh. No one wants to talk about it. But it's like all that's on anyone's mind these days. Mysterious things are happening all around Shibuya. Oh, sightings, attacks, disappearances, fear. Ah. This. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds weird. Uh, this is kind of like a visual novel, more like. But honestly, Ryota was never really like most kids. He's not usually glued to his phone all day. Boom! Ryota's concerns bring him to a mysterious case file. Posted online, it's titled, The Kirigaoka Vanishing. He reads it to himself the best he can. Having tracked another report of dark fog to the area, I arrived- Oh no, this is KK's voice. I arrived to find it had passed leaving dreary rain hanging over the neighborhood. At the scene, all we found were the clothes of a mother and a son, left behind like two molted cicada shells. Molted. Oh, okay, molted. Yeah, correct. American spelling, by the way. Um, UK spelling is M-O-U. It's hard to even imagine a parent and her child just gone. Precious lives snuffed out forever. My heart sank knowing that I had failed to protect them. It was the worst feeling I'd ever felt, as if on cue. Rain started pouring down, heavier and heavier it felt with each passing minute, but I couldn't be bothered to take out my umbrella. That's when the obvious culprits returned to the scene of a crime, a group of monsters. They had umbrellas of their own, as if rain followed them wherever they go. I was furious. I brought hell down onto them at that very moment. They tried to protect themselves with the umbrellas, but I just kept pounding on them until they were battered and broken. I was so exhausted I could have fallen over at any moment, but my utter wrath kept me going. As I picked up the leave, I still refused to open my umbrella just walked away. Rain pouring and soaking me to the bone. 
KK. So that's the name of the uh, uh, secondary spirit character in um, in Ghostwire. But in here is the main character. He's the tech guild. Unable to shake the idea that monsters are all around him, Ryota navigates on his phone to a document called the Marunouchi Vanishing. Marunouchi is a, as I recall, it's a station in Japan. The language is complicated, but he works to understand it. It says, I got a tip on a missing woman from Marunouchi. When you've been a detective as long as I have, you tend to build a big network of contacts. The story my contact told me was that they saw the woman one day when the fog rolled in, they blanketed the area, and then poof, she was gone. Times like these make me wish a certain somebody was around. Come to think of it, the fog and these disappearances set the scene for when I first met the rest of my crew. Okay, don't smoke. Everybody kept talking about folks just up and disappearing, and I thought it was a load of horse. Do. It wasn't until I met them and, and until my encounter that I believed. Ever since then, I've been haunted by what I would have called once, once called hallucinations. Turns out being able to see spirits and monsters isn't fantasy movie nonsense at all. There's actually what, um, Japanese. Uh, films always kind of do they they assume that this is all you know part of the the world um, it's like the whole Japanese horror universe building thing world world building whoops um, lady she made a bunch of red orbs that appeared to chase me around but I knew so long as I li didn't let myself get surrounded I'd be okay she was a nightmare to look at so I put her out of yeah, when I searched the scene, I spotted a woman's handbag, found the missing lady's ID cards in there. When I came across some clothes that looked like they would have been hers, they were in a little pile, but the way they'd fallen made it clear her body just vanished. No mistaking whose handiwork it was either. I finally managed to get my hands on a solid enough lead to work with. KK. And finally, uh, the bathroom vanishing. Could monsters really live among us? These case files say that yes, they absolutely can. Oh shoot, I forgot. I clicked too fast. A lady called me about a missing person who vanished from the bathroom of her apartment. Usually, I'd brush it off as another runaway. But after seeing the crows circling above the apartment, I had a feeling there'd be more to this. The black stains on the front door very fight my hunch. It turns out that I'm the only one that can see these black stains. The lady who lived there and showed me in made no signs of noticing it. She showed me the bathtub and gave me a play-by-play -play of what happened. Her boyfriend was taking a bath longer than usual. So she went to the bathroom to check in on him. When she opened the door, her boyfriend was gone. For a short instant, there was a reflection of an old shrine on the surface of the bath water. I rubbed my finger on the rim of the bathtub and there was a transparent, sticky, slime-like substance on it. A reflection of a shrine shone on the water's surface. Nice. Shrine shown. Aliterasi. I'll need to talk further with my team about this incident to see if these things ring any bells. I purged the black stain on the front door and then left the scene. Poor lady, what will she do now? What can any of us do? KK. Just pronouncing his name like how he did in the Ghostwire videos that I watched. Thank you for introducing me, Gab. Well, actually, um, I uh, first heard about it in the um, GamerCon? EA Day? Can't remember. Social media would never lie, and that means KK is an expert, maybe the expert in all things paranormal. There's only one thing left to do. 
Having poured over every story post and grainy photo about local monsters he could find, Ryota prepares to take action. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna ask this KK guy for help! Okay, thank you very much for the prompt. Just gotta figure out where he lives first! Okay, it's like Mickey Mouse. Sagasu. Google. Ghostwire Tokyo. Contact. Ooh. Mm. Oh, dear Mr. Investigator Person. Bingo. Dear Mr. Investigator Person, Hello, how are you? I am not good and I need your help. Very direct. Monsters got my best friend Sosuke. Rinko sits up in her chair and she zeroed in on one of a dozen monitors across a makeshift command center stuffed into this cramped Tokyo apartment. It happened near the manhole. Please help me get him back. Oh, it's Rinko. It happened near the manhole. Please help me get him back. Data flies across the screens, seemingly too much charts and graphs, maps and mathematical equations, even social media feeds and open case files. <laughs> And somehow, through all those screens and all that clutter, Ryota's message catches Rinko's eye. Good eye. Sounds desperate, but it could be just some bored kid trolling us. Calm and confident, Rinko insists on balancing compassion with skepticism in her analytical approach. On the other hand, that manhole is within the vicinity of several recent incidents. Maybe he is involved. She knows what she thinks, and also knows that no one can protect Tokyo all by themselves. Trusting your teammates is the only way to keep everyone safe. Yeah? Yeah? It the song. Hmm. When I watched Gab's videos, I thought Ed was fat. <laughs> Ed squints and takes a single deep breath as he turns to the screen. He has something to say but holds it back. Technology is easy. People are hard. Son. Hamilton reference. Instead of speaking up, he places a small recorder on his desk. He presses play, and as the audio begins to roll, Ed turns and walks away. I've heard intriguing stories about so-called manhole girls in Japan. Vengeful ghosts of bullied students said to trick other children into following them into the sewer. From whence they never returned. Okay, I know it's where. If any information turns up about such anomalies, <laughs> I'd be keen to investigate because it's a recorder. Though I speak purely out of personal interest, this might not be enough to make the rest of my team pursue it without further evidence. Okay. I would say, kept learning Japanese. Would be sick to translate this to Japanese. Okay. Safe to say, since you've somehow found the time to record something this specific about a single urban legend that you want to look into it. Ed is already engrossed in other work. He doesn't respond. He cer certainly doesn't notice when Rinko rolls her eyes. He rarely does. Probably the best we have. No idea. Probably best we have no idea how you spend your free time, huh, Ed? Erika has been sitting next to Rinko this entire time, listening and waiting for the right time to chime in. Chime! And that time is... Want me to check it out? Uh -huh. Let me just, uh, real quick Google Translate this. I know, simply, just for the feels. I know Japanese speakers will, speakers will add me. Want me to check it. Out. Check the hoshi. Check. Yeah. I always become cute when I try to speak Japanese. I don't think so, Erica. Could be dangerous. What if something happens to you? Eh? eh? Seriously, Masaka? You still don't trust me to go out by myself for five minutes in the middle of the day? Ah, oh, sixteen-year-olds. Students, don't you dare. At just 16 years old, Rinko might not, might, might, blah, might be right not to trust, might be right, not to trust Erika on something dangerous. But Rinko knows that Erika has shown a maturity beyond her years. 
she gives Erika an almost sisterly look of skepticism. You know, it's not that. Rinko quickly turns back to her monitors and away from Erika. But for all her maturity, Erika can't quite keep from pouting. Okay, bad pout. Stop making that face. Besides, we've got our very own private detective in the vicinity already. I'll have him take a look. Eh? Kick is on. <laughs> it's like a western. Alright. Got a class coming up, so uh, I'll save and then probably put this up in the next episode. What? 15 minutes? Okay, we'll go to half an hour. That silence breaks when a phone begins to vibrate upon the countertop. Uh, potong steam makan de. The owner ignores it, choosing to focus on his meal instead. The phone doesn't care about his hunger and continues to vibrate. Bliss! The phone wins. The peace and solitude has shattered. This is no way to enjoy noodles. I think it's ramen. God damn it! The silent diner finally glances at the screen. He begins to mutter to himself. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Another case. These people have me working harder than my enemies ever did. Can't even get five minutes to enjoy a nice quiet lunch. So that may lunch. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. Pick up the phone. Oi. Oi. Let me guess. I'd be risking life and limb. Mm -hmm. That why you let it, let it ring for so long? Too scared to pick up? <laughs> <laughs> you know exact. You know the exact day I stopped being scared of anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need, you know, to take out my six guns or my samurai sword. <laughs> the day you stop being alone. <clears throat> Do you stop being a loner and hooked up with us so that we could have your back? <laughs> sure, that works. Besides, I'm not full enough to pretend this team isn't half okay. Oh. If you need backup, you know I'll be there. No questions asked. I actually already volunteered, but... Already, already, already. Right now, there's nothing suspicious, dangerous to be worried about. Simple check in on a report of some suspicious activity that might be connected to these phenomena that we've been looking into. Bless me, child. Huh. Huh. It's always the simple cases that go south the fastest. You know what? You're right. Maybe Erica should run point on this one. Sure, she's a kid, but you're so busy, you know? So. Whoa, 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 hold up. Let's not sacrifice the rookie to make me look bad. Okay. I'm already out. Send me the info and I'll get on it. First though, I need to talk to one of you about something. Hmm. Rinko chan first. Hey Rinko. Let me guess. Pissed I interrupted your precious solitary soba time, guy. <laughs> solitary soba. <laughs> Hurt. Not pissed. I was almost done. God forbid the report of a venge vengeful spirit abducting children interrupt the same bowl of noodles you've had a thousand times. Not much left in this world I love. When I think of something else, I'll tell you. You won't have a chance to add to that list if you don't figure this out. We both know how powerful the forces we're dealing with really are. We have to keep pulling these threads until we unravel the whole damn thing. No thread is too small. Mm. Oh god. I need aircon. Guess I can't argue with that. Yes. Yes. I know I can rely on you. Might be the only thing I know for certain. Now go prove how smart I am, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the job I was born to do. Oh, I covered my face. Damn. Just, uh, let me just adjust my face. I will make myself small. That should be fine. The 
better border around me. That's okay. It's okay. Ryota doesn't notice the people passing him on the street. They don't notice him either. He's young, but he's very much alone. His focus is centered on the small bit of paper in his hands. <laughs> I must say, I am super excited to be going into Ghostwire the game finally. Um, I mean, not the prelude. I mean, I, I, I mean, I like the art style in the prelude, but to be able to do open world in like the Shibuya area. Like when I, I I mean let's let's face it I don't think I'm going this year. Um, sorry, I'm not threatening anybody. It's just here. My desk is a mess. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going this year uh, to Tokyo um, because uh, you know it's, I have some work and uh, that hasn't traditionally been a happy hunting ground for us. You know, if someone wants to sponsor us, that would be great. We would go then. After a couple folds, the paper finds a familiar configuration. With the head, arms, and body, it takes shape. A palm-sized person stands in his hand. As Ryota inspects his creation, someone who has been observing him from afar steps out of the shadows. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. What have you got there? Creep! Ryota looks up. He's nervous, but clutches the paper doll in his hand to stay brave. He's not running or hiding despite the gruff stranger staring at him. No need to be afraid. I'm not here to do anything bad to you or your little friend. <laughs> Gotta admit, I've been known to carry the odd paper doll with me on investigations. Strange habit. I know. But you get the benefits of the partner, a partner, without the annoying small talk. Bro, Ryota's shoulders ease. He lets his guard down as he listens to the detective and re-examines the folded paper. The detective surprises himself with his playful tone. He's rusty, but somehow he still feels comfortable talking to the scared kid. Mm. Ah, okay, okay, Sam. Sometimes paper dolls are used for magical purposes. You sorcerer by any chance? Now's the time to tell me. Oh, so you really are him, huh? Mm. <laughs> Gotta have to be more specific, kid. Nah, nah. you can't get uh, the ghost hunter from the files. You must be. I just thought you'd be taller. I am taller, little bitch. All right, this is my private, not private. This is my personal channel. I mean, like, if you guys repeat whatever I say in here and call me a bad influence, that's on you. All right. I gotta have some way of releasing my stress. I'll just bleep it out. They say you solve strange mysteries. A <laughs> hook, right? Okay, okay. Maybe. The detective looks closely at Ryota's phone. He says that he sees the social media posts featuring photos of various case files he has worked on, collected in one place. <sighs> Look. I only use those initials because writing out my name is a pain. And I got too much pain already. Not your problem, right? Anyhow, that's me, KK. But I'm not a ghost hunter. I'm a detective. Oh, he's smiling. KK's demeanor hardens a bit, dropping playfulness. Mm. You want an investigator, kid? Well, you got one. Uh. Oh! I'm so glad you're gonna look into the disappearances at the manholes. The holes of man. Here's the thing. I already did. Made some calls on the way here. There's no record of any recent disappearances. Still got a few friends on the force, so I can dig up dirt quick. KK shoots Ryota a serious look. Oh? Oh. Not trying to pull a fast one on me, are you, kid? Oh! Oh! It's true, honest! My buddy Sosuke disappeared! He hasn't come home since yesterday! Last place I saw him was right back here! Ryota motions to the alleyway behind him. <sighs> oh, what the... Oh, God. It sounds so creepy, man. Voice actor, come on! He went down that way. I tried to follow, but I couldn't find him. He was completely gone. If Ryota is bluffing, he's an incredible liar. <sighs> A sadness comes over him and when he looks back towards the alley. 
KK looks back and forth from the kid to the alleyway behind him. All alleys are dark, but this one looks like it's never seen daylight. Mm. Yeah. See any fog when that happened? The moment he disappeared? <laughs> Ooh! Now that you mention it, there's been something spooky around, like kind of a fog or a darkness. But it came and then went. Alright. KK mutters something to himself as he eyeballs the alleyway behind Ryota. But nothing looks immediately out of place. So much going down in this city. Some kid getting lost doesn't exactly seem like front page news. Okay, do I call the kid's bluff? Alright, let's call it. I need more to go on, kid. Why are you so convinced that he was taken? It didn't happen to anyone else around here. But it did happen to my best friend. Sosuke has been missing for two full days. Everyone's been looking, but no one can find him. Eh? Eh? What about his parents? Have they filed a police report? I'm the only one who really cares about Sosuke. I know he needs me. Ooh. And no one else is even looking for him anymore. Just me. Ooh. I, I, I think the kid. I think the kid. Yeah, I think the kid's like... Betty. He's lucky to have you. Eh? Eh? It's like when you saw a crow circling above the building in one of the cases you investigated. You knew there was more to it than anyone else. Well, Mr. KK, I know there's, I know there's more to Sosuke's disappearance. I just need your help. Oh. Oh. Really did your homework, huh? I'm impressed. You're more dedicated than most adults I know. You remind me of my friend Erica. She lost someone too. She'll never stop fighting for them either. Choice. KK takes another glance at the alley. Oh! Should I stop here? Just gonna go on for a little bit. Oi! Oi! Show, ex show me exactly where this Sosuke pal of yours disappeared. Ryota perks up. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so you're gonna look into it? So you're gonna look into it? Uh. I'm here, ain't I? Let me check in with my team. See if they figured anything out. Could save us some time. KK reaches for his phone. What's up? We're all here. Hmm. Hmm. I just needed a quick word with one of you to follow up on what the kid has told me. Okay, so who do I talk to? Who do I talk to? Ed. Ed would know. Ed. Ed, you find anything in those files of yours while I was talking to this kid? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I, uh, unfortunately, I've done a limited amount of my own research into this legend before being pulled away by other tasks. This is like so George Take. That said, I've been quite eager to continue it. Ed, spit it out. What do you know? Hmm. Huh. Of course, it's uh, just a theory. While he was speaking, Ed queued up another file in his audio recorder. He lets it do the talking from here out. Now that could be very useful in my classes. I just like play a recording. <laughs> do it once. While installing some ethereal energy monitoring hardware that I decided to place throughout the city, I've become aware of some uh, micropulses within Tokyo's electrical grid that are only recognizable within distinct frequencies. It is my belief that these frequencies are tied to spiritual resonance, a byproduct of uh, vanishing experiments. My intention is to continue monitoring these pulses via the uh, mobile lab with the hope of ultimately detecting a source location. So far, signs point to the Shibuya district, but uh, I've been unable to produce more specific results. Sorry, more specific results. It's as if uh, <coughs> the source is continually moving. Relocating, perhaps, to avoid the exact type of precision detection that I seek to achieve. Uh. Okay, I'm starting to sound racist here. Stop me. A moving target, eh? Hell, if you're trying to move quickly through the city undetected, you could do worse than the sewers. 
Well, Ed, time to test this theory of yours. Yeehaw! Ryota, it is time to find Sosuke. It's time to find Sosuke. Sosuke. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing looks out of place, but things are rarely what they seem. KK slowly but deliberately reaches his hands out. He's not holding on to anything, but you would think that he is by the way he's moving. Like he's got something invisible dangling from his fingertips. Because it's like the thing that he does in the game. I mean, the full game. Ryota has no clue what he's trying to do, but he watches closely. However, what happens next can only be seen by KK's eyes. As KK opens his fingers, a sparkling orb of energy drops from his hand down into the ground. Oh, it's the uh, spectral vision. It ripples like water in a still pond, energy flowing outward into the world. Yeah. Okay, this ne. A strange trail floats into view as though a spirit has passed mm. through this place. Psychic energy. The trail leads further on, deeper into the valley and out of view. Valley? Alley. And out of view. Guess he went that way. Puzzled, Ryota follows KK's eye line down the alley, but he sees nothing out of the ordinary. Mm. Oh, what happened? I don't see anything. Trust me, kid. It's good you can't see it. This is a power you don't want. And you're too young for it. To take a risk like that and change your life forever. Ugh. Ugh. The world is a scary place. It keeps getting worse. We're gonna find your friend and get you back to your life. KK and Rinko are in big trouble this time, running like rats to des to desperate to stay alive, with only a dingy old sofa between them and monsters, monsters. Kassaw. <laughs> we better find another exit. Rinko turns to KK and sees him holding his head. He appears to be in great pain. Kassaw. It's happening again. Your body's reacting to the ether. As KK looks at the room, his vision begins to break in half. He tries to focus, but rather than reform, everything continues to split apart even further. <sighs> Another hallucination. The world is breaking in two. <sighs> That'd be crystallized ether, another form of matter. Sounds like your body has entered the final stages of affinity. To what? Uh, bless me. Sorry, I had like really nice dinner uh, and it's fasting month so hey Ugh. from thin air like phantoms these horrific visitors appear surrounding KK and Rinko damn we're surrounded oh are we gonna do game fighting things oh no Tear. okay Mr. KK <laughs> Eh? Genki desu ka? Are you okay? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Sorry kid. My mind can be a little hard to control. You just kind of stood there for a while. Sometimes my memories take me places. Hate to leave you alone again, but you need to wait here while I look for your pal. Sit tight. I won't be long. That's what all the adults say. A report on Rinko's computer setup flashes on screen. Ed's monitoring software has a hold of something big. The results are clear spiritual residue, and it's exactly at KK's location. Honest. Oh, this. Oi. Ah, enter. Okay. Oi, is it now? We just received an alert. There was a massive surge of spiritual energy at your location. Hold off on pursuing until we're able to send support. Can't wait forever for you guys. 
might have a missing child on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of evidence. I know what I'm getting myself into. Relax. Ed's research has already prepared me. I'm ready. Oh. Huh. I appreciate your vote of confidence on behalf of my work, but that research was actually quite limited. It was more of a brief overview, in fact. I wouldn't call it actionable intelligence, so to speak. Hmm. <laughs> it was a very informative overview. I doubt I could be any more ready than I am right now. It's not fair for us to ask for help when you think you need us, then use our own words against us when you're too impatient to act as a team. We're in this together. KK decides to address one team member specifically to make his case of Yurinko. I mean, she's like the de facto boss. Okay. Fair? What about anything that happened to us is fair? This job that no one asked us to do, but we all know we can't escape. You're damn right, it happened to us, not just you. I had to throw myself into the fire, even though, even though I knew I'd get burned. <laughs> Hurt like hell, but it saved both our lives. Couldn't forget that day if I wanted to. There's no way of knowing what would have happened if you didn't. Just because you got hurt doesn't mean that was the only option. You're right that I didn't agree with you then and I don't agree with you now either. But you know that sometimes you're just doing what you feel you must. I hate that I admire you for that sometimes. But God, get a room already, guys. This team means everything to me, Rinko. It's all I've got. And I'm going to protect it. Yeah. Trust me. I'm trying. But maybe make it easier next time. I'll talk to you later. I'm in the middle of investigating. Ugh. It was never any good at following people's directions. That attitude of his is precisely what saved our hides on countless occasions. Yeah. Dawn. You don't think I realize that? Erika smiles. Thinking about KK's attitude. It doesn't bother her. Yeah, I mean, it's a 16 year old's attitude, right? Dude! Damn, they're everywhere! These are the enemies that we'll be like encountering in the game. I guess it's a nice, it's a nice prep. This visual novel. Okay, I'm just like tired of reading. Uh, dark, horrific figures. Oh my gosh, ah! Oh, he wheezes. <gasps> Wrinkle! What would happen if someone tried to touch one of those ether crystals? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Might give you the power to fight back. Might just make you even more miserable. Who can say? What about him? Did it grant him strength? After getting his answer, KK, without hesitation, stretches his hand out to one of the crystals. Gimme! Wait! Stop! Stopping's not an option. Not for any of us. You don't know what would happen. It could kill you! Damn, it's 9 already. Okay. I'm gonna stop at the 40 minute mark, I promise. Those things won't. We're dead if we don't try something. Yeah. Yeah. We aren't out of options yet. You've thrown away everything to fight these monsters. Same as me. There's not a goddamn thing left to lose at this point. Before Rinko can say anything else, KK reaches all the way out. And Nani of the fish sticks. He gets it. Ah, white. So much white. Oh yeah, boy. I miss these manhole covers. KK follows the trail of psychic energy deeper into the dark Shibuya alleyway, away from the glow of familiar streetlights and vending machines. His venture in into the unseen brings him into a manhole cover where the spirit residue flashes with an eerie intensity. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop here. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Should I do one of these though? K 
Okay, let me just have a a big source. Okay, nope, not this one. Yes. Okay, so uh, um, so far loving it. I uh, um, the story is great. Um, I don't have much. Uh, I don't have much um, patience with uh, with visual novels uh, so much. So, um, but the game itself is great. Um, so, like having this to prep for the the game is is gonna be awesome um, because I would like to see uh, what happened with KK before that um, uh, before the whole thing where his spirit got ripped out. Spoilers. Um, so yeah, um, I should be able to finish this, uh, I think, in another sitting. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be a short game. So, I mean, visual novel, it's not a game. Alright, uh, so yeah, uh, I think uh, another session should be okay. Okay desu ka? <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah. Um, Thank you very much for watching Iski the Chipo Gamer. I uh, I gotta do more of these, man. Like I work and Tango has been swallowing me up. And when I saw this game uh, on uh, Gaps Mulders' channel, I was like, oh god, I miss Tokyo, and uh, I, I I wanna go back there. Uh, probably not this year. Uh, maybe next year. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think a lot of my Japanese friends kind of miss me too. <laughs> Shout out. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Bye. Oh, wait. Sorry. Follow me. Iski Sena. Um, Instagram. Uh, not Facebook. Just Instagram. So there you go. Iski Sena on Instagram. That's where I post uh, a lot of the shit that I post here. You know, like my teaching stuff and my... Uh, dancing stuff and my acting stuff and whatever stuff i do Ooh, i also got to do my nerd stuff as well okay truly uh smash that like button um uh, 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 uh help me rise in the algorithm um um help me go back to japan and uh um wish me luck in uh creating more content bye